what I was doing with my white teeth exposed, like that on the side of the road, I don't know. And I don't know why I lay beside the sewer so that the lover of dead things could come back with his pencil, sharpened in his piece of white paper. I was there for a good two hours, whistling, dirges, shrieking a little, terrifying hearts with my whimpering cries before he died, by pulling the one leg up and stiffening. There's a look we have with the hair of the chin, curled in midair. There's a look with the belly, stopped in the midst of its greed. The lover of dead things stoops to feel me. His hand is shaking. I know his mouth is open and his glasses are slipping. I think his pencil must be jerking in the terror of smell. And sight is overtaking him. I know he has that terrified, faraway look that death brings. He is contemplating. I want him to touch my forehead once and rub my muzzle before he lifts me up and throws me into the little valley. I hope he doesn't use his shoe for fear of touching me. I know we're used to know the grass is down there. I think I know a hundred snails. I hope the dog's way doesn't overtake him. One quick push, barely that, and the mind freed. Something else, something other thing to take its place. Great heart, great human heart, keep loving me as you lift me. Give me your tears, great loving stranger. Remember the death of dogs. Forgive the yapping, forgive the shitting. Let there be pity, give me your pity. How could there be enough? I have given my life for this. Emotion has ruined me. A lover, I have exchanged my wildness, little tricks, for the mouth and feet. With the tail, my tongue is a parrot. I am a rampant horse. I am a lion. I wait for the cookie. I snap my teeth. As you have taught me, oh distant and brilliant, unlearned.